Today, we want to talk about space. Students are on a mission to Mars. Here in Legoland, California, young minds turn to robots for help. I always tell the kids that they've been planning to go to Mars for the last 15 to 20 years, and something keeps getting in the way to find out what's in the way, solve those problems so that we can go to Mars. Oh, see if you can do it again. This is the EV3 Space Challenge, and in here we show kids how to program the Mindstorms robots. A hammer. Students work in teams to complete five missions to help make travel to Mars a reality. Rotations, seconds, or degrees? Challenges that would simulate problems going to the red planet. So they have to free a rover, they lose communication and have to fix their communication. Uh, they have to pick a commander and launch to Mars in the first place. It gives kids an opening to technology and introduction to coding. I love that he gets to learn a, a programming class, that he's learning these skills at such a young age. This is definitely one of the fields that I want to encourage her to try. I love it, and his, his brain um, wants to learn about you know, robots and building and, uh, and um, engineering and things like that, so he's loving this class. Yay, we did it! We did it! It's amazing how much technology is out there right now. Coding is in everything that these kids play with. Try that on like negative 60. We are programming a robot so to complete missions for Mars. We're learning about how to um, code with um, EV3s. We're working on a robot for space for NASA. I'm feeling really good. <laughs> for more information, visit legoland.com slash edu. To reserve a class, click the pre-registration link or please call 760-438-5346. It makes it turn. It's hands-on STEM. It should pop right off. Science, technology, Four. engineering, and math. It's going to take a long time to go to Mars, so I love telling the kids that it could be one of them. You are all now junior engineers. So a big round of applause. One more time.